Hello, my name is Erica Lewidim, and I've just been disqualified from the Big Brother Lockdown House. I have apologized to the housemates before leaving the house, and I would like to apologize to everybody who watched the show, all my supporters, the fans, my family, my friends. I am very sorry for my actions, and I'm very, very sorry for saying those horrible words to Lekon. It's a day after Erica was disqualified from the Big Brother Ninja show and she had an interview. Normally the interview is Ebuka interviewing the housemates on their stay in the house and every other thing that we really need to know about. This time around it was just like a background interview where someone is asking her about things and she is responding. Her interview was quite different from the other housemates. Before we continue to do with this video, please guys, if you're seeing me for the very first time, please hit on the red subscribe button. Consider to join my family. Please, please, please and turn on your notification bell and please you guys know the drill so those of you who are named old please check the link in the description and pinned in the comment section you'll see my other channel where you can go and support me you get so guys erica was interviewed after she left the house i'm so happy that she is really, really feeling okay as in like she's not how we expected her to be because we know how emotional erica can be i'm thankful that the whole rumor of she fainting and being hospitalized is not true seriously I'm really happy about that and then secondly she was interviewed and then Erica had all this to say she said she actually did not have she does not have anything against Lekon that she does not hate Lekon that she was only angry that Lekon lied against her which she still feels like it's a lie that Lekon said she kissed she kissed him tried kissing him a couple of times that once isn't a couple of times what went wrong with my relationship with Lekon I think is when he started telling people I tried to kiss him. To my knowledge, it only happened once and I was intoxicated. He knew that if not for the alcohol, that wouldn't have happened in the first place. And he lied that I tried to kiss him a couple of times. Once is not a couple of times. And she also went ahead to also say that she she knows that kid wire, the feeling she has for kid wire is not mutual and she, she, she accepts it that way. I do not think Kidwire feels the same way about me, but I don't really care about that. I'm really happy that she is coming to realization that maybe the feelings actually is not much, and so that she'll be able to know how to deal with it. Erica also said that that Kidwire contributed to her having two strikes, and girl, um, Kidwire contributed even up to the disqualification because one, the whole thing started triggered. The whole drama that triggered her anger was when Kidwire was seen, presumably flirting with Nengi, which I don't think it was flirt. He was just having a conversation with Nengi, but you know, that insecurity and jealousy just got a better part of her and she was really, really angry. I think Kidwire played a role in my getting strikes, but I think it's still my responsibility and I feel like I also played a role in him getting strikes. So She's fine and she is okay. Like, She's feeling like she's going to have things to do with Lacon, like, as in, like, they are going to settle their issue. And I'm really happy she's going to sort that part of her life. So please, Elite and Icon, you guys should stop dragging each other. Make on stop to the carry another person battle on top of on her head. These guys will be all right, last, last. Like, seriously, they will definitely be all right at the end of the day. So moving on, guys, Engi and Ozo and their drama. I think it's about time for Ozo to really, really, really be on his toes since Erika is out because Ozo has always had this thing of suspecting Nengi and Kid Wire because of the chemistry, because of the, you know, they are always playing with each other. So he's kind of always suspicious to get. So Ozo was accusing Nengi of always playing with Kid Wire more than usual you get. And, you know, <laughs> seriously, even me say, I did laugh for the matter because at this point, I don't get anything to talk. How, how do I say I mean? How? My friends, they're not even close. It's just the person that is, He's just kid, very playful and you know. So he's just staying around, he's not like, I don't understand. How many times I hardly even spent time with him, just once in a while, so I don't understand where this is coming from. So Nengi was like, uh, why do you always feel like I'm always flirting with this guy you get? You're always, because I'm Madame Feelings, I'm always walking around, moving around the whole place. Also, for some reason, even though he might be trying to act strong, but trust me, as Erica is out of the way, also will have an issue. Because Eric in Kidwire and Nengi, they are always playing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You will always see them having one kind of play which you will normally do not see with Ozo and Nengi rather. You guys can attest to that that Nengi do, um, really do not like playing with Ozo. Maybe don't like playing with Ozo but because of Ozo's kind of personality, she hardly plays with Ozo you get. So that's just it. So guys, moving on from the whole Nengi and the rest, yesterday night, Lekon was having a conversation with V and V was literally here saying that she cannot be friends with Erika, especially Tonali Bad, for even, as in, even nursing the thought of snatching her man, knowing that she really has crazy feelings for Neil. I can't everybody that's left apart from Tonali Bad and Erika, I'm just worried. When you do even think you're winning things, it's not even more Okay, you're evil is subjective. Sorry, evil is subjective. You can't ever call me your friend or sister and try and run your way into the person that you know I have crazy feelings for. That is the strangest shit ever. You like even if not me, I go feel somehow. Though um, for some reason I've been noticing that V do not like Eric, and I really do not know why it got to that point. V is somebody that really harbors grudges a whole lot you get and she's not somebody you cross and think that she's going to forgive you and you guys will move on v is not that kind of a person you get she is somebody that hold on to things so so much and then she was saying that every, that she cannot have anything to do with them that for she to be for for tolani badge to be thinking of that and erica even encouraging her just got her off you get and i'm like chill you get chill because at the end of the day you don't really know if these guys will want to know these things will continue outside the house don't forget that the way lacon and them um, and kid wire they are acting even erica having all the issues she's having with lacon you see kid wire still playing with lacon still having a conversation with look as if nothing happened and i'm like wondering why can't we ladies always be like that our own kids they always did different we like fights we like quarrel we like beef each other we do always carry things for head like gala we they always won't get issues with people our own things is always different so guys that's just it in fact this whole house meet here then they bring us drama day by day so i just felt the need to come and update you guys on what has been going on going on on erica's interview and the insecurity um, um also is already feeling and then the v erica and tulani badge issue i just hope you guys enjoyed this video please if you do give it a thumbs up leave me a comment in the comment section and please 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 subscribe to my channel and head over to my other channel my personal channel where i make videos on family lifestyle and vlogs and every other thing in between if you want to know more about me the name of the channel is vicky m e m and the link is always in the description and pinned in the comment section thank you so much for watching my video and i'll most definitely see you guys in my next video see the sun is out bye guys